Hello there, kids. It is I, Strike Hat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were exploring the clinic, finally getting to the bottom of what's going on in here, and there was something thumping and kicking in one of the auto docks, and it did not sound good, and I didn't want to open it until I investigated the rest of the facility. So, that's what we're going to do. Also, there's a couple uh, shielded speakers that's the word, that I should probably look into turning off, and I could probably break these to turn off the power, but that will probably explode in my face and kill me, so I'd rather avoid that if I can, to be perfectly honest. I'm going to take all this duct tape, because this is useful as shit. Ooh, ooh, I can make the, I can make the thing. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Convert that to ECP, and then go to that. There we go. Perfect. There we go. We're good. Uh, yes, I can do the Cosmic Knife Spear, because it's all clean, and thus it does more damage. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. Make some overcharge. Nope, I think I'll leave that for now. I will definitely do the weapon repair kits, though. Do that for sure. All right. Uh, what we got? DC Journal of Internal Medicine. I will definitely use that when I can find it and use it. There we go. What does that bring my medical skill uh, up to 28? Really? I have it that low? I could have sworn I had it higher. Okay. Clinic power status terminal. All right. We will look into that. Uh, essential systems. Auto docks powered. Security hologram, powered. Non-essential systems, music speakers, powered. Note, please inform clinic management <laughs> management before shutting down generator for maintenance. Let's disengage main power. And now, emergency backup engage for the auto docks and security holograms. Great. Fantastic. The speaker systems are offline. Christine. Christine. That was... Quite the sound of a power down. Okay, Christine, wasn't that wasn't that the previous owner of that sniper rifle we picked up in uh, Old World Blues? I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, let's go check out that thing, I guess, because apparently that must be Christine in that auto dock there. But first, I want to check the back of here. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is a lot of sound coming over here, so I think it might actually be back here? Nope, it's over here. A malfunctioning auto dock. Oh! I see. It's coming from the malfunctioning one. Okay! All right. How long were you trapped in there, lady? Woman look before you looks disoriented, pain. She blinks a few times and winces, uh, and as if the act uh, is blinding her, causing her pain. Uh, I think that's what it said anyway. Uh, looks like someone carved a road map across your face. That's rude. You don't know if she had that before that or after. That's kind of rude. Uh, are you all right? She looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She's mute. She touches her throat, then traces a scar beneath the chin, and her eyes widen in alarm. Oh. So. The malfunctioning auto dock messed with your voice and your face quite a bit from the look of it. Sorry to say. Um, <laughs> don't really want to point that out, but it, it seems rude. Um, did someone cut your vocal cords? Well, obviously. Uh, look, I'm here to help. She looks shaken as she glances at the auto dock. She recoils and her mouth opens, but again, nothing comes out. She looks back at you and her hands clench into fists. Her eyes narrow and she takes a step back, studying you. So she doesn't trust me, okay? I can't blame her, considering I'm the one that rescued her from a malfunctioning auto dock. She might think it was me. Uh, <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. 
The woman opens her mouth again, winces and frowns and drags a finger across her throat in a slow motion. She looks more angry than pain now. Frowning, she looks, touches her throat again, then brushes her collar, then her frown deepens. Her eyes narrow, she traces the edge of the collar until she finds the lock. She begins to press it with her fingers. It's a bomb collar. Mess with it, it'll go off. She looks surprised, then notices your collar and raises an eyebrow. Well, yeah, it looks like she still has eyebrows. Uh, let's just say we're in this together. She frowns, narrows her eyes, and slowly shakes her head. Ugh. Can't speak. Uh, we need to cooperate if we're going to get out of here. She shakes her head again and draws a line in the air between the two of you. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, look, together we can get out of this. She shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Uh, look, I'm not trying to order you, but your life is tied to mine. She frowns, glances at the collar, looks back at you. She makes a circle with her hands, puts her hand over her eyes, and squints. She nods at you, then lowers her hand from her eyes, shakes her head. She draws a slow line between you. You're looking for something else? Fine, I can help. Ugh, that doesn't seem like it would be helpful for me. Uh, actually, consider, <laughs> considering that actually will be the best for me. You're looking for something else. Fine, I can help. She studies you again, then her expression softens slightly. She shakes her head slowly and gives a silent sigh. That's a lot of S's. She nods at you, then raises an eyebrow and nods at the door. Alrighty. Alright, come with me. Christine nods and steps slightly behind you, waiting. Nice to know that she's willing to follow me now. Oh, that was a weird loading. Christine has given you the signal interference perk. This signal... This is the signal... This perk grants you a short period of time near a speaker before your bomb collar starts to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time before your bomb collar detonates by 50%. That is kind of useful. All of these guys have useful perks. Holy shit. Can I get into this thing? Apparently not. This is closed off for good. Uh-oh. Or not uh-oh. More like uh oh. <laughs> I'll take this. And this. Thank you. Perfect. Let us get out of here. Christine stops, glances at the speaker, then glances at your collar, frowning. Uh, it's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it'll go off. She taps the collar and then opens and closes her hand really fast. She taps her collar, then opens and closes her hand really fast. Again? Okay. She points at your pit boy her collar, and then your collar. After a second, then she opens and closes her hand slower. Oh, I can... Do a speech check for science and or intelligence. Yes, speaker static makes our head blow off. Right, okay. Uh, you can interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency somehow? Uh, yeah, there she is. She's about to nod, then stops, points at herself, and shakes head. She points at your collar, then hers, and nods at your pit boy. She makes a triangle motion, then the same slow pulse with her fingers. So that means I can interfere with it with my pit boy? Is that what it is? Does that work with any other collar? She frowns, slowly shaking her head. She opens her mouth and makes a motion of tuning a dial, then points at herself. It's just your frequency. She nods once, then again, points at the two of you, then the pit boy. <clears throat> but only t between us. Great, how romantic. <laughs> she looks puzzled for a second, then glares at you and motions you to move on. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she uh, took that joke very well. But then again, can I blame her? <laughs> that was a real smart-ass thing to say. Wait, wait. I just found the code for stim packs. Fuck yeah. That's probably going to be a fortune, but I don't care. That's actually good for me. Oh, yes. I can't find any more, though. Okay. I think we found everything that we can. Ooh, today's physician. I can use that in a pinch. Okay. That's not going to help me. Let's get out of here get to dealing with the Sierra Madre once and for all. Uh oh. Shit. Shit. Why did this one have to pop out out of nowhere? Okay. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. By the old-fashioned way, I mean a lot of bullets to the brain. Okay, I guess I killed it. That is really nice. That actually helps me a lot. Okay. There's one of them over here. That's what I figured. 
Okay. What can we aim for a lot? I guess the right leg is actually doable. Go for that quite a few times. If I can hit. Come on. How does that miss every time? Jesus. Oh, jeez. That went right by my face. Okay. Apparently, it's going to tell me every movement she makes. Uh, let's go for the head. It's always best to go for the head. At this point, the limbs, every time they come off, it uh, kills them almost immediately. Oop, I do not want to aim at her, but her health is really low. I should probably help her out a quite a bit more. Okay, come on. This guy's running away, which is not great. Because he can just come back later and be a threat. Or more of one, anyway. Okay, come on. Can we just kill the guy before he kills Christy? Christine, whoever the name is. Okay, I can go for the head now, and that should kill him. It's not unconscious, it's dead. Dead as dicks. Take all of this, thank you. Uh, Christine. Uh, can I give you a spear? Can I give you a spear to you? Hopefully I can. Uh, nice spear clean. Oh, that's so it actually changes its name depending on that. Cool. Uh, give you the good spear. How about that? Oh, great. So you can actually use it. Nice. That's good to know. I want to switch and use this for this. There we go. Perfect. Can I see anything? There we go. Thank you. Uh, yep, nothing here I really want. Uh, how's your health at? How's the health? Uh, HP back at full. Okay, good. Uh, okay, that is weird. Do I have my radio on? Is that what it is? Is that my radio? Yes, it is. Okay. I'd rather have that off, to be perfectly honest. Now. Oh, this guy's dead. Okay, cool. I was about to say, is this guy going to raise up from the grave? Like everyone else has so far? No, it's not good. So. Just walk back the way we came, basically. Dart around the walls and the ceiling. She glances at the exit and takes a slow breath. Sweat appears on her brow. What's that supposed to mean? You think we aren't going to make it out? Man, I'm good at this. Kinda. Sorta. I mean, I've died a couple times. More than I should have. Oh, great. There's an enemy over here. Okay, this guy's dead. Uh... Yeah, I did not do a circle. I'm actually at the plot, uh, plot, spot I want to be. And there's an enemy this way. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Put a couple bullets in the head. See if that helps. Okay, great. Now I need to reload. Fantastic. And please get a critical strike. Nope, not working. Ow, that hurt. Okay, he is dead. Definitely the best idea to give her a melee weapon. That is for damn sure. Okay, let's try and put all of these together. At this point, they're just weighing me down if I don't deal with them. Okay. Put all of that and all of this. Okay, let's actually repair this with one of the almost broken ones. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're as good as can be out of here. Nice. Let's get out of here. Well, half of travelers have mysteriously vanished after claiming to have heard a woman's voice on a pre-war radio broadcast. They are never heard from again. Oh, that's nice to know. There's another one of these bastards. Okay. Can I just hit them in the face, please? Thank you. Can it stun him, please? Apparently not. Okay. That's not good. Okay. You missed, motherfucker. It ended up hitting the wall right there. Get the head again. And he's dead. Nice. Critical strike. Fantastic. Yeah, that is 
That is stuck in the wall. <laughs> that is not going anywhere. Okay, let's take... You got, thank you. Now let's check what that stim pack actually costs and when it comes to Sierra Madre chips. Um, 25. 25, really? That's less than the, doc <laughs> than the doctor's bag. That's actually fantastic. That's amazing. I could actually use that. First, let's return that. And I'm pretty sure I have quite a few of the cigarette packs and cartons I can get rid of. Boost up my number of uh, caps. Not caps. Uh, chips. Significantly. Okay, I have two of those, so I don't think I need to get more. Um, Medex would be nice, but uh, that's 20. I could get, like, two or three. That'll work. There we go. That's nice. Okay, um, weapon repair kit. Really don't need that as much as I think I do. A uh, stim pack. That'd actually be useful in the long run, so I might as well get four of these. I gotta be sparing with these chips. And it's possible I might not get any more. <clears throat> Jeez. I don't know what to get. I do not know what to get. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I really don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. I could really use the boost as a science skill. It's like a way I can get back to the uh, police station and uh, open up that door. That'd be nice. Uh... pretty sure I could get some ammo if I had the codes for it, and I'm pretty sure it's in that storeroom or evidence locker. Uh, shit. I don't know what to get. I think I'm gonna go with the Instamash. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go with that and just stuff my face full of them. There we go. That should do it. Bump my stats up quite a bit. And I should probably get some rat away in me. There we go. That'll take care of the rads I just put into my face. Alright, are we going to deal with any more of these enemies on the way there? Nope. Apparently not. My health did not up that quickly. Or that much, even. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna pop a stim pack. Fuck that. Uh, let the stim pack do its work. Let it finish up. There we go. And I think I'm gonna buy more of those, simply because it will be the best in the long run. I'm gonna get four more. Okay. Good. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, can I... There we go. Whoop. What's this? Why? Okay. It's a little doll. Were you carved by a craftsman? Or mauled by a drunk who didn't know his tools? Possible it was both. Christine narrows her eyes, gets into a combat stance. Can't believe I'm not going to hurt you. Yet. Okay. Much. Yet Scotch much. tell a story. Some old, some new. And the one on the throat is fresh and red. Yeah, it's weird that you can tell that, but underneath the collar. But anyway, gonna give me just a moment. How about you shut the fuck up? They're not complaining thus far. Go away. I was already near the end of the episode. You just interrupted me. Just go. Sorry about that. We had a couple 
difficulties there. Alrighty. You should probably stay here now. Can I talk to you about that? Maybe. We'll find out in a second. Uh, that auto dock really carved you up. That's kind of rude. Uh, this nodding, frowning, and pointing you do is wearing me out. Uh, I could possibly do some mentats to actually get that one out of the way. Uh, time for us to part ways. Yes, I'm sure. Alrighty. Gone to the Villa Fountain. There we go. I think I could actually deal with that you in just a second. Uh, do I have any mentats on me before I go through the trouble of getting more? No, I do not. Okay. So we can grab one of these. There we are. I can talk to her about that. Once I pop these. Anyway. Uh, mentats. That'll boost my intelligence up. There we go. Christine raises an eyebrow. Well, uh, can't you communicate? <laughs> can't you communicate in some other way? Can you write? Christine frowns and pauses and traces one of the scars on her head with her finger. What does that mean? She then makes a motion as if to pick up a pencil, tries to write, then shakes her head. Something to do with the surgery. She pauses and draws a jagged symbol like electricity in the air, and puts on an odd staring face. She keeps the blank face for a second, then slowly blinks, looks around. She looks at her hand, shakes them, lets them go limp. That's a rather specific form of operation. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but alright. She looks distant, then slowly shakes her head. Okay, I couldn't really go much farther with that. Alright. I had other questions. She frowns and cups her hand to her ear. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this for now. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it good for right now for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.